Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens, and today I want to talk about the E95S from Pilot. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we have the Pilot E95S, and the first thing you're going to notice is the pen is quite small in size. Uh, capped 4 and 5 eighths inches long. Posted comes full length 5 and 7 eighths inch. So it's a full length pen posted. Uh, the barrel length is on its own is four and an eighth, so it's really not, not a pen you're going to want to use unposted. It's, uh, unless you have very, very small hands, it's really a, a requirement to post this pen, I think. Uh, but let's, uh, let's take a look here. First of all, we have two color options. We have solid black with a gold fill trim and burgundy with uh, an ivory and gold filled uh, trim cap. So two options come available in three nib sizes, extra fine, fine, and medium. And let's uh, quickly take a look at the packaging here. Uh, your standard pilot outer sleeve and Pilot's using these new boxes with the little see-through here, which is kind of nice. So you can see it sitting in there, open it up, and there it is. Underneath you get your documentation and cartridge in there too. So, so let's take a look at the burgundy one here. You can see the clip is your standard length. It's a decent length. It says Pilot on it. Um, you have the E on the cap. And this pen is real reminiscent It was a, a, of some vintage pens. It was originally re released in 1962 um, and now finally out. Uh, some refer to it as the long short. But uh, very smooth. The one thing I noticed right away is that the cap is very smooth. Uh, posting and uh, capping the pen. There's a very smooth action to it. So it's there's a clutch mechanism inside the cap, similar to Parker 51 clutch, but uh, I've got a nice little detail on the ridge of the cap band here, and on the back Pilot Japan. Clips actually got quite a bit of springiness to it, so you can really get this into just about any pocket including if you have something that's a little bit thicker it will go in there real nice and easy and with uh, today's trend of shorter pockets uh, which is a problem fitting a large pen in the pocket these will will fit in just fine so take the cap off first thing you're going to notice is this really nice large 14 karat nib and it's a very, very elegant inlaid style nib. Uh, it says 14K, 585, Pilot, and then the nib size in between brackets, Japan. It's really a nice, nice looking nib. Uh, reminiscent of a number of different inlaid style nibs. Uh, Mont Blanc, even a Parker 45 had a style similar to this, but uh, nice nice looking nib. We've got a gold filled clutch here right in the middle and like I say it's, it's, a, it's a nice length very nice length posted. This barrel end unscrews and you have a CON 20 converter fits in there. You can also fit the standard pilot cartridges of course. see the difference capped and posted is quite a bit. So let's take a look at how this writes. I've got a fine nib inked up here and the first thing you notice is it's very it's a very smooth writing nib as most pilot uh, nibs are. Just really glides across the paper. It 
does have a tiny, tiny bit of softness. I wouldn't even call it that if you press down, but um, you can get a little bit of a line variation there. But very smooth, even for a fine nib, and I'm not a fine nib type of guy, but this is not too bad. I like it. So again, available in extra fine, fine, medium. Um, Japanese sizings, of course, so they are tend to be a hair on the fine side. But there you have it, the Pilot E95S. So there we have it, the E95S from Pilot. Be sure to visit us online at andersonpens.com, stop by the store, or see us at any number of pen shows nationwide.